What is going on, fellow farmers? Welcome back to another Beginner Guys tutorial with your boy CJ Farms right here on FS22. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about how to operate the trains. Now, uh, if you go into your menu here, right? If you go into the menu, and even if you select, I've noticed that uh, even if you have your train set to on, meaning uh, switch the trains on, uh, it will not let you switch the trains from my knowledge unless you rent the train and it still may not work after that I just haven't tested that but as far as I know as you guys can see switch the trains is on and if I go out and I'm hitting my tab key it only takes me to my vehicle here okay so let me hop back out of here we're gonna we're gonna go back down to the train rental place you do have to rent the train okay so that's how you get the train and then I'm gonna take the train back down to where my truck was and I'm gonna show you how it works down there and how your trains uh, haul your um, harvest and all that. So, um, what's going to happen here is you want to rent the train uh, right there for a thousand dollars per hour. So we're gonna we're gonna click on that, and it will show you right there. Uh, train is going to arrive soon. It's 3.2 kilometers away. All right. So um, and then then tra and the train will come in that direction. So once the train gets a little bit closer to us, I'll bring y'all back into the video. All right, everybody. So as you can see, the train is arriving. Uh, now, if you want to find out where the train is while you're standing here waiting, because sometimes you can't wait a bit, you can go to the map. And if you'll look right here, here is your train icon right here. It will say diesel locomotive. Uh, it travels around the map here. Um, now, once it gets to this point, where it says Go Crest Valley, it will kick you out of the train, okay? So if you're in the train, and you ride to Go Crest Valley, or I believe if you back it up to this Go Crest Valley, it will kick out of the train and the train will keep going, okay? Now what I'm hoping will happen is in the future they'll add Go Crest Valley to the map over here, but but we'll see what happens. Um, so once we got that part right there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in, just like you would hop in any vehicle, you're gonna hop in, you're gonna start the engine up, you can also go into first person, just like this which is actually really cool all right and if you zoom out these are all of your trailers all right there's all of your trailers and you can select them all right there you can select each one uh you can open the uh you can open the hatch on each one right there let me see there it is right there there's the hatch for that one and then if you go back to the next one there's that one uh, but the, it will not zoom back any further than that. Let's go to the next one That one back there is opening up as you can see or closing uh, Are they closed and then we have one for logs back there and then one for pallets and all that so you have one that carries your Barley canola whatever you want uh, Then you have uh, you have two that ca you have actually three that ca will carry all of your crop then you have one for logs and one for pallets so Let's go ahead and let's get the train moving <clears throat> um, to the um, to the store point down here, and I will show you guys how to work this. <clears throat> I don't want to get going too fast because um, I have to stop the train right down here. So we're just gonna take it on down this way. It'll make for a good thumbnail right there. That'll make a great thumbnail. We're gonna go on down this way. And that's gonna be a good thumbnail right there. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna start slowing it up. All right, and ooh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. All right, and the train will go in here. Now, it will veer off to the track here once you've run the train. Now, again, okay, again, I'm sorry guys, it switches tracks regardless, okay? I think if you don't run the train, I think it stays on that other track over there. Don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Now, if we hop out, we hop by the train. Let me shut the engine off, all right? And if you go inside of this building right here, if you guys can possibly see, let me go into flight mode here so y'all can see what I'm talking about. There is a pipe right here, okay? And this is where you're going to get your harvest from. So this right here is in perfect alignment to get our harvest out of okay so we're gonna leave the train sitting just like this let me fly up come on fly up out of there how about a flight mode 
Let me start this back up. We're going to back the train up just a little bit. We're going to back it up just a little bit. Not much. Just a little bit. All right. There we go. That should be good. Let me check it one more time here and see. Okay. So that is perfect center right there. Okay. That is perfect center. Now you have two icons there. One for pickup. One for drop off. Okay. So just kind of keep that in mind. Let's go over here to our uh, truck. I've already got a truck sitting here ready with a trailer full of weed, okay? So we're going to pull this into uh, the store point here where the train is. And now keep in mind, in here you can also drop off and pick up. As you can see, as you can see, there are also two icons right here, all right? This one is for drop off. This one is for pickup, okay? That's what those icons mean. So let's go on in here. And once you get in the right spot, it will prompt you. Once you hit the sweet spot, it will prompt you to dump it. Let me back up a little bit. Let's see. Let me go back to the trailer. All right. And make sure your trailer is selected. If your truck's selected, it will not do it. You got to select the trailer. All right. We're going to go ahead and dump that off in there. Just like that. All right, and now if you want to, right here in the same spot, you can go ahead and get it back. You can go ahead and get it back. Once you're in here, you will click in your window right there where it says start filling. Just click that. And as you can see, we only have the wheat. You can fill it right back up, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and just, just dump it over like this again and put it back into the store point. That should stop there. There we go. All right, so we're gonna put it into the store point, okay? All right, so we got that. We got that dropped off. Now, we're going to go back around the train. And remember, we have that trailer in there. Let's hop back in the train. And let's go ahead and click Start Filling. Once you're in the train, it will give you the prompt to start filling. You can pick it. There's your wheat. As you can see, it will show you what all's in here. We only have the wheat, okay? So we're going to go ahead and fill it with wheat. As you can see back there, guys, it is filling with wheat. If you guys can see that back there. Now, at this point... You can take it down to um, go have it sold at Go Gold Crest Valley or bring it back around. It doesn't matter whichever one you decide to do. Now, what's going to happen, and I will show you here. We're going to take this down. You can also rent the train right there. Now, see right there? The train will now drive to Gold Crest Valley and will return on the other side of the map. Do you want the train uh, to sell the loaded go goods in Gold Crest Valley? You want to click yes. And it will now sell your goods for you. And there you go, $17,000 worth of wheat. Um, and that is pretty much it for trains, guys. There's not much to it. Now, I don't think, and you cannot switch to the trains. I don't know why they have that feature on. I'm not too sure why that feature is on. Uh, let me slow my guy in here because he's running like he's on crack. I'm not too sure why that feature is on, but I want to get that. Dang it, I want to, I want to get that, man. Give me that. There we go. All right, cool. Another collectible down. All right, so that is pretty much it. The trains, guys. I, I don't know why, unless you can, and I didn't even try it, but unless you can, um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, once you rent the train and you have control of it here in this area or before you hit Go Crest Valley, I believe you can switch between your train and your vehicles. But with that being said, guys and girls, um, that is it for trains. Um, subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click also know exactly when I post new content and when we go live as we are live streaming here on CJ Farms once a week right now. Once we hit 2K, we will be live streaming twice a week, okay? So get, to, get us to 2K and we'll be doing two live streams a week here on CJ Farms. With that being said, I love you guys so much. Until next time, stay safe, stay awesome, and be humble. Blow it out your butt, man. I will see you all in the next video.